In this video, I'll show you how to change the gravity physics so that you can simulate the gravity on the moon, on the sun, and on other planets. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by setting up a simple physics simulation. So let's add some rigid body physics to the cube, set the shape to box, and then for the dynamics, I like to set it to 0.35 and 0.6 which in my opinion looks more natural. Then you can press Shift D to duplicate, and then you can press R to rotate. I'm just going to add a bunch of cubes. Then press Shift A, and then side a plane. Press G, then set to grab it on the set axis, and then press S to scale. And then we can add passive rigid body physics to the plane. So let's set it to mesh, and then press space to play the simulation. As you can see, it works. And as for the gravity settings, we can go into the scene properties and then into gravity. The default gravity values are the gravity values of the Earth, as you can see in this table. So uh, we can experiment with some uh, different values as well. So let's uh, try out the values for the moon. So 1.6. We can start from the beginning, press space to start. As you can see, it is a lot less powerful. It's not just the speed, but it's the way they interact with each other as well. So you're going to get different results when you have different gravity values. Let's try um, another planet. So uh, minus 24.5, for example, which is the gravity for Jupiter. And we can also add the value for the sun, which is much more powerful. So uh, minus 275. So if you're making sci-fi animations and want some realism, you should keep this in mind as well.